Hey guys, this is Martin, and today we'll be looking at directory traversal, also known as file path traversal. So first of all, what is it? Well, it's a vulnerability basically where an attacker gains unauthorized access to files and directories stored on a web server by simply manipulating the input parameters, right? So to navigate around into folders or into a directory structure where they should not be able to get to. So consider this request here. A normal request may look like this, like get image. So you see this in verb, get image, parameter name, file name, and then the user input is image one. So image one is being loaded, very straightforward. But what happens if you have like a simple case like this and you can replace the file name from image one or image one.jpg to the path traversal sequence dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash etc pass wd so this will basically what this does it's instructing to jump back like every dot dot slash is jump back one um one level in the hierarchy so if you look at a linux system or microsoft system it's the same is if you put in cd change directory dot dot this is basically one of those sequences and normally you don't usually you don't know where you are in the file system so if you put like five in there it's the chances are you're coming back to the root directory and then you go into etc pass wd basically so then you change into etc and then you read the file pass wd so that's a simple case sometimes they have filters in place right but they can be bypassed so this example here is one where the path traversal sequences are filtered out but you can still put in a forward slash etc slash pass wd and still get it get to it that way so this would then basically mean you're starting at the root directory you go into etc and then you go into pass wd so this is another test you can do this one here is basically file path traversal traversal sequences stripped non-recursively so what they do sometimes is they filter only one occurrence each time like the regex is mis misconfigured and then basically um they filter like a dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash and so forth right but what if you put four dots and two slashes then it will only filter two dots and a slash which is hard coded in the filter and it will still leave two dots and a slash there so this is this also worked for me numerous times that you can actually bypass it that way sometimes um they are better and basically see every dot dot slash regardless and just filter out on dot dot slash but then what you can actually do is you can you start to url encode it so first you take the dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash etc pass wd and then you url encode it. if that works chop done right but sometimes that doesn't work sometimes you basically need to double url encode it because what's happening on the server side the server is then url decoding it once and then it's checking basically for the existence of dot dot slash dot dot slash and stuff right but if you double your url encode it the server will will url decode it but only once and then it's still url decoded but it doesn't do it twice right so you may be able to bypass the filter with something like this so what you see here is basically the dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash etc pass wd but double url encoded sometimes you have also like another kind of vulnerability which is something like this so the path may start in verb like when you take a look at it it starts with var www images right and then you basically initiate the path traverse sequence from there so so the, the filter is checking that the, the file name starts with var www images so if you will put the path traversal sequence up here in the in, in in front it would not work because it says it has to start with var www images but then you can initiate the path traversal sequence afterwards and you might be able to get back to the root and then into your etc and read the past wd file another thing is for example sometimes it checks that the extension has to match right so for example the etc pass wd file doesn't have an extension so the pass wd file doesn't have an extension so i could not put in 
um, passwd.jpg because then the server would say, well, I don't find this. I don't know what that is, right? So um, you can use a null byte. So what the null byte is effectively doing, it's, it's fulfilling two purposes. So number one, the filter looks for .jpg and that criteria is satisfied because it ends in .jpg. But the null byte basically then confuses the application by only reading up until the null byte. So when the null byte comes, it's basically ignoring everything else afterwards. So the application will read the etc pass wd fine because it terminates the read process at the null byte, but the filter will still see the JPEG and will allow this request to be um, passed through the filter. So here's a couple of examples. So URL encoding, um, the, the most important characters, the dot and the slash and the dot or slash respectively how it looks like in WRL encoding and, and some other filter bypasses. So I highly recommend that you head over to Payload All The Things, which is a fantastic GitHub repo, and you will, we will find a lot more in the directory traversal section around filter bypasses. Okay, so in the next couple of videos, I'm going to show you practical demos um, based on port swigger. So I'm going through all apprentice and all practitioner labs on port swigger in regards to directory traversal. And then you can easily follow along the videos and see how this is actually done in practice and how these vulnerabilities are exploited. Okay, thank you very much. And I see you in the next video.